welcome to Stone Magpie. I've got a Diamond Dark Club unboxing for you today and this is one of the diamond paintings that they released for their fifth birthday celebration. They released 40 in all and I managed to grab two of them in the general release. I thought I'd missed out so I did really well to grab this one. I know it was popular. It is Moon Goddess by the Eau Claire Studio. It is a square diamond painting and it is 55.8 by 83.7 centimetres. Let's get into this one and have a good look around the kit. Taking out the tool kit, the small sticker that we get to use either on the box or in our log books, and the diamond painting itself. A branded protective cover. This sticker they give us with the image on, the title, the artist and the size and it is good to use on the side of your box, on the top of the box, if you want to store the diamond painting and want to see what's inside. Or, as I mentioned, you can put this in your logbook if you prefer. We'll have a look at the tool kit and then we will open the diamond painting. So in the tool kit, we usually get the same tools and there are two surprises, being the design of the washi tape and the cover minder. So Diamond Art Club provide a white funnel tray with a stopper if you would like to use those to stop the diamonds coming out as you diamond paint. We get a caddy of pink wax, two heart shaped slabs and the caddy keeps them nice and fresh. We get a standard diamond pen, a single placer, this time being orange. These do come in different colourways, so again, this is a surprise element in the kit, what colour pen you're going to get. We get a squidgy, which goes onto the end of your diamond pen, push it up, and then it can be for comfort whilst you're diamond painting. And usually they are colour coordinated with the pen. And we get two multi-placers, which you put on the end of your pen if you want to place more than one diamond at a time. So we've got a four placer and a seven placer. We get some spare baggies, usually about 25 to 30 ish in a kit. These are used to store leftover diamonds or to use them if you don't want to kit up into a storage box. A pair of metal needle nose tweezers branded with Diamond Art Club, really good quality, very sharp, hence we get the plastic guard to keep on the end. Now the two surprise elements, as I mentioned, a washi tape. So to, today's design is Oh, it's a bit like, well, it's not quite knots and crosses <laughs> and it's not quite a Chinese character. So it's like a scratch design, let's put it that way. So you can use these on your diamond paintings either around the edge or to section off your painting. I don't tend to use these, so I've got quite a collection going now. And the cover minder. We get different designs in the kits, so they are collectible. And this time it looks like half a macaroon. <laughs> or is it a jam donut? I think it's supposed to be a macaroon. So you slide the magnet from the back, pop this on top of your protective cover when you peel it back, pop the magnet under the canvas, put them together and it will hold your protective cover back whilst you diamond paint. So that's what they are for. All in this self-seal pouch. 
So let's get the diamond painting out and see what this design is all like. I am so excited to see this one. As soon as I saw the picture, I knew I'd have to try and get it. Right, let's have a closer look at the painting. And we're starting at the top here. Already can see lots of three tens in the background. The three tens tend to be the dot symbol. So immediately I can see that there's a lot of three ten to place in the background there. Good job the kit comes with multi-placers. <laughs> However, oh wow. Oh wow. I mean, we see the pictures on the website, but nothing can prepare for seeing the canvas up close. They usually are a lot more beautiful than what you can imagine. And this is no exception. Oh, she is lovely. There are so many details in this diamond painting. So although you've got a lot of three tens here in the background, in the painting itself, there is not a lot of colour blocking. <laughs> Let's have a look. As we look at the painting, it will self flatten. The Diamond Art Club canvases are very good quality. They are perforated on the edge. They are very soft on the backing and it really helps to flatten out the painting without too much effort. So we've got the three tens all in the background with, with this dot symbol. Then we've got this beautiful sparkle design with, now I think that's a feather coming off rather than a leaf. It struck me as being a feather design when I first saw it. And then we've got twiddly bits with little jewel-like placements and then the starbursts to really make it feel like it's sparkling out even more. In this corner here, we've got a rose, which is picked out with a paler outline and the leaves surrounding it. As we move up into the main part of the painting, that beautiful crescent moon with the filigree type design. She is the moon goddess after all. And the crescent shape is surrounding her head. It's like it's crowning her head being the moon goddess. And the moon itself has so many beautiful details in it with all of this picked out filigree type work with different colors. So it really feels encrusted with different types of jewel like colors. Subtle though, like pastel jewels rather than really bright, bright jewels her face itself she's got this beautiful dress you can just see her shoulder and the top of her dress here she's got some jewels around her neck and this beautiful dangly earring here her face she's got her eyes closed looking down very demure but look at the face herself with all of those sparkle touches to bring out that cheekbone her luscious lips, her very delicate nose, and those lovely eyelashes, as I say, closed, which looks extremely delicate. Then she's got her lovely swathes of hair flowing down with a crown on her head here, picked out with jewel tones, and then the placements of the roses around in the background on the right, we do have the shard with the grassy, rocky landscape flowing down into a sea with the cityscape in the background. And you can see the lights from that city going up into the night sky where we've got bright details surrounding the lovely moon shimmering in the dark night sky. Heading further up the picture, we've got flowers either side with lovely delicate leaf details and swathes across the top 
which will be picked out when those three tens sit in. All of that colourway will be picked out. Each one of these dots here is a fairy dust diamond and they're not only in the night sky, they are also down her cheek, in her jewellery here, as well as along the bottom, picked out in details. It will be interesting to see what the number two is because they are not the fairy dust. I think they will probably be ABs. It will also be interesting to see what sort of colours these are when they're placed because the blends of colours look so delicate and they've got a sort of a greeny hue in the middle with the moon surrounding and then the blues and blacks and reds picked out around the rest of the painting. Let's have a look at what else we get in the kit. We always get a thank you leaflet which includes scan codes the top one being step-by-step -step video instructions. So if you've never diamond painted before, then that will give you some instructions on how to get started, how to use the kit, and another scan code to join the VIP Facebook group where there's a great community there, really helpful, really nice community to talk to and share your experiences of the diamond paintings. We get a sticker sheet which has all of the information that you need, the title, the artist, the start and end date. If you want to use this in your logbook, then you can write when you started and when you finished, as well as the diamond shape and the size and the SKU code. So all there for your logbook if you want to use it for that. You can remember, use your smaller sticker in the logbook and then you could keep the sticker for something else if you want to. We have all of the colours in pre-cut stickers for easy kitting up into storage. You just pull those off, stick them on your tubs and put in the corresponding colour from the packets. And because this kit has 68 colours in it, the last one being the Z code, as I mentioned, the fairy dust, I've got two sheets. So that means I've got two of those beautiful stickers. What a treat! <laughs> they obviously couldn't fit on 68 colours onto one sheet, so spoilt there. And whilst we're looking at this, I do want to say the Eau Claire Studio is an international group of artists who've got together and created this studio. So when you look at those on the website, there's all different designs as well. So hopefully Diamond Art Club will get more of those because if this one's anything to go by, I definitely want more. Diamond Art Club always print the legend on both sides of the diamond painting, left and right, and usually start with the ABs listed in the first part of the legend. So we can see here that we've got four ABs then we go down the list, seeing all the different symbols being letters, numbers and characters all the way down to number 68, which is the fairy dust diamond. And let's have a look at those diamonds now. Here is the pack with the sticker on with the name of the kit. And that is because if you want to store your diamonds separately to your canvas, you'll know which diamonds relate to the kit. I can already see packets of three tens for those backgrounds. <laughs> Ooh, just look at those ABs that flew out. Can you see the sparkle in those already? <gasps> Ooh, look at that. I hope the camera's picking up the sparkle in this. Wow! 106. The colours in there are amazing. Oh, can't wait to see where they go. Right, we'll do a quick run through of the colours so you can see. They do look mainly blues and purples, as you would expect. So let's run through. Starting with a grey, 414. Then onto the three tens, we have got five packs, six packs of three tens, nine three nines, we have got three packs, 803, 844, 336, 
two packs of those, 823, two packs of those, 161, 158, 317, two packs of those. Really beautiful blues, greys and the black. <laughs> Going from dark to light, we've next got 3799, 413, two packs, 820, that bright blue that surrounds that moon, 930, 159, a lovely delicate lilac, 169, 3072, these are the delicate colours coming now, 453, 318, 452, beautiful colour. 415, 3864, 3839, 311, 517, 841, 792. I love those really beautiful, soft, quite ballet colours, aren't they? And on to the smallest packs of all 3042, 312, 3861. 822, 839, wonderful colours in that pack. One more pack to go. 221-3842-798-738-3747-3834-3840-597. Here is the diamond dust colour, the Z code 3865. A beautiful AB101. 739-826-3760-518-677, a purple AB121, 223-3721-3722 and 208. Now I was quite surprised by the size of the Z pack because I was expecting a bigger pack of those Perhaps it's deceiving with the AB because these two colours I think are going to create the moon and the shimmer of the goddess. So we'll have a closer look at those. I don't know if you can spot <laughs> here. I've had a mishap. I've cut the packet off and cut it open. So this is where the self-seal bags from the toolkit come in really useful. <laughs> I've had a bit of a spill. So carefully cut that off, pop it in the bag and I'll pick up all of those spills and add them to the pack. So just a little bit. <laughs> I've never done that in an unboxing before. There's a first time for everything and it is easily solved. And one of the reasons why I like these self-seal bags, I do store the Diamond Art Club diamonds and put them in self-seal bags in my folder. So I find them very useful. Right. Hopefully I won't do that again whilst we carry on getting these ABs ready to show you. Okay, so we have got the four ABs and the Fairy Dust Diamond. So let's start with, we'll start at the top and we're looking for the number one code for this cute little packet of blue ABs. There's not many in there. So we'll have a little look for the number one. Okay, starting at the top, the number one is picking out a bit of the cloud detail down the side on the right. 
as well as little parts in the background too. We've got a little touch in her hair here and then moving down to the bottom We've got little touches in this sparkly detail here. So very subtle little areas of blue here. So looking at the number two code, that is this creamy colour AB, the 106. I imagine it's all going to be in the moon, but we'll start at the bottom and work up this time. Ah. Right, the number two is edging this rose and is in all of these sparkles. These big sparkles will be picked out with that beautiful sparkly AB. Moving into the moon itself, the crescent moon, we've got lots of number two along the whole of the moon not just on the edges of the crescent, but also picked out in some of the filigree detail along too. The goddess's shoulder will be this beautiful AB and her earring design. We also have touches in her cheekbones, down her nose and in the crown that she's wearing as well as touches outlining the rose details. Then lastly, within the moon itself. Looking for number three code, an even smaller pack, this lovely purple AB. I can't see any in the top at all. So moving down to the bottom, We have got highlights in this sparkle design in different areas all the way along is this beautiful purple AB. Next being another bluey purple AB, which is the number four code. And this time, rather than being at the bottom, the number four code is towards the middle and top. Okay, I'm going to correct myself because we do have a little area of number three just in little touches here with that purple. And the number four is along some of the sky here and surrounding the moon. So then we come to the fairy dust diamonds. I hope you can see the finish of these. It's like a glitter effect on the top of the diamond. So although there are not lots of these, they will hopefully shimmer in the details. So all of the white spots in the sky that you can see, the spots, I shouldn't call them spots on her face. <laughs> she is a goddess after all. The shimmery highlights in her face will be the fairy dust diamonds. Oh dear, I do get myself into trouble sometimes. <laughs> and then edging down towards the bottom of the picture, all of the dots within the sparkle design at the bottom are also those fairy diamonds, those fairy dust diamonds. So we are going to have ABs scattered around the whole painting. I'm surprised that they're not more concentrated in the middle. However, there are so many of those number twos in the moon that I wait to be surprised. I think once it's diamond painted, it may look even more AB heavy than what I think it might be at the moment. So I wait to see that. That's going to be such a nice surprise when I'm diamond painting, I think. So here we have the whole kit, all unboxed, looked at, scrutinized, <laughs> opened out for us to have a good look at, and I am thrilled with it. Of course, I've created myself another problem because I've unboxed another kit that I just want to get on and start. But I've got so many lovely kits to do that it's really going to be a difficult choice which ones I'm going to do next. But it will go in my stash if it's not chosen to work on straight away. So do keep subscribed, do keep up with the news and hopefully you'll join me again for the next video.
Thank you so much for watching. I do always appreciate subscribes, likes and comments. I love to hear from you. Perhaps you want to let me know what you got in the Diamond Art Club birthday releases. Do let me know if you'd like to. So thanks again for watching. I hope that you join me here again next time. And in the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. Bye.